getting out of the rat race, what about I told you it was much, much closer than you ever imagined? Now, imagine being able to walk in one day to your job and firing your boss. How great would that feel, guys? And being able not just to sit at home and do whatever you want or sit on the couch and eat bonbons and turn into my 600 pound life, but you can. The idea of getting out of the rat race is so you can live your life on your own terms. And guys, in this video, we're gonna go over exactly how to find the strategy that works for you and we're gonna come up with your financial freedom number. What's going on guys? My name is William Doria, owner of a real estate investment firm in North Texas, and we're about to find out how close you are to financial freedom. So we're not gonna be all guru-like here, and we're not gonna promise the world with little to no effort and stuff like that, but we are going to go over the cold, hard facts. When you buy a real estate investment property with a mortgage on it, after P-I-T-I, that's principal, interest, taxes, and insurance payment, and we're also gonna take into account vacancies and repairs, you should be able to net cash flow between $200 and $400 per month on each investment property. Now, I know what you're saying. Holy cow, I'm about to do all that work for $200 a month, but this is where it gets good, guys. $200 a month is every month for the rest of your life. It does not include inflation. It does not include the tax benefits, and it also does not include the rents going up over time all the while, your principal is being paid more and more each month. So you might be saying, okay, so I got one property, makes $200 a month, now what? I don't know, I'll just do this for the rest of my life. This is where you need to figure out your financial freedom number. And this is the amount of money that you spend per month and the money that you need per month to be able to live on, guys. Guys, if you don't already know this number, this is imperative that you know this number. So print up the last 90 days worth of bank statements and literally go over line by line. And this includes how much you're spending on your credit cards, how much you're spending on your cars, how much you're spending going out to eat, your entertainment, etc. Everything combined and average them for the last 90 days to figure out how much you need per month in order to leave your nine to five if you so desire. So let's just say it's $4,000 per month. Guys, I know a lot of you saying, I don't need more than a thousand, and there's a lot of people in California needing $10,000 a month. Guys, I understand. But we're gonna use a baseline. We're just gonna say $4,000 a month. If the number's much higher, that's great. If it's lower, that's awesome too. But we're gonna use $4,000 per month that you'll need in passive net income in order to be able to live your life on your own terms. So according to Bigger Pockets members, $200 to $400 per month on an investment property is a realistic number to expect monthly per investment property. So this is what we're gonna do. We are going to bust out the calculator. And at $4,000 per month divided by 300, you'll need 13 investment properties. Now, you might be saying, holy cow, where am I gonna get the money for 13 investment properties? And the famous one, my favorite, I don't have time. This can be done with way less effort than a part-time job. Your goal that you should have is to just acquire two rental properties per year. That's it. Two rental properties per year divided by, I know this is easy math, guys, 6.6. .6. Let's call it seven years. Seven years you are away from becoming financially free. Guys, and this is if you're 18 years old. This is if you're 25, 60 years old. Guys, the age doesn't matter. The numbers don't lie. This is what you're going to need. And this does not include any inflation or rise of rents that are coming. This is just two to $400 a month. We cut it in the middle, guys. If you can score some great deals and get $400 per month, 
you're in an even better situation and you can cut that seven year mark down to five years. And you might be saying, okay, so that sounds good. How do I get started? How do I buy these properties? Where am I gonna come up with the money? How do I learn what's a good investment? Guys, there's a lot to this. There's definitely more than I can explain in a 10 minute video, I promise. But be sure to subscribe to my channel below, write down any comments that you may have and make sure you hit that notification bell because we're gonna go over weekly on every single thing that you're gonna need to learn and you're gonna need to put into your tool belt of knowledge in order to become a better investor. Becoming a real estate investor and a good one doesn't happen overnight, guys. It requires a lot of due diligence and knowledge. So you might be wondering, okay, how do I buy these properties? There's a strategy out there that you can actually go out, find a property, renovate it, and buy it with somebody else's money, go to the bank, do a refinance on that property, get 100% of your borrowed money back, so you now have zero money in the deal. You get to keep the house, and get to keep the cash flow, and get to keep the appreciation, and get to keep all the tax benefits. When I first heard of the strategy, I thought it was way, way above and beyond what could even be possible. And I was like, is this even legal? Like, how do you buy something and let somebody else pay for it, but I get to keep all the benefits and do basically whatever I want with it in the future. I could even move into it one day when it's paid off. Like, how does this even work? Like, how is this possible? So I deep dive into it. And the strategy out there, we're gonna go over in the next video. And it's imperative that you use this strategy, unless you're a baller and you've got enough cash to go out and buy 10 properties. Well, in that case, you're gonna be home free, buddy. But I'm assuming that you either A, don't wanna blow all your cash on investment properties, and B, probably don't have enough to dump on all those properties. Guys, and most people don't, I don't blame you. If you had that money, I don't want you to spend it anyways. Why don't you use somebody else's money? And why don't you profit off of using debt? See, this is what they don't teach in school. They don't teach financial education. And this is so vitally important. And this is why so many people have not heard of these strategies before. So. If this all sounds good to you, hang tight for the next video coming up. I wanna make it very, very easy to understand for the new investor so they can actually absorb the knowledge that they are gonna need in order to go out into the field and make your dreams a reality. If you've watched this video until the end, please comment below, I will respond to you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe below. And until the next video, thanks for watching.